Hey peeps, it's Knox and my co-host Virgil. Hi. Today we're here to do our very first unboxing of DIY Bone Shop. Yay. <laughs> He's actually way more excited than that, but teenager syndrome. <laughs> so before we get into that, as always, I'm going to cover a few things. First things first, I have neuropathy in my hands. Sometimes it makes me make weird stretchy motions on camera. I am not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household. It is nighttime, so you probably won't hear them moving around, but there's still a chance someone might be making noise in the background, knocking on my door, forgetting that we're filming. And thirdly, and most importantly, my, well, the channel, it's not my channel anymore because you're on like half my videos. <laughs> so this channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. And welcome to Virgil petting the DIY moon shop. <laughs> I have been excited. We've been waiting two months for this. So for those of you who don't know, ban. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, DIY moon shop for the most part, makes everything to order. They do have some stuff on their website that says, you know, already made or ready made or something. I don't remember the exact phrasing, but um, otherwise it does take roughly four to six weeks for them to process or six to eight weeks for them to process your order. Um, but they do ship at FedEx. They're from the Philippines. So it's going to be a little bit of hefty shipping, shipping, but it's worth it. Um, as far as having access to some of the like most gorgeous artwork I think I've ever seen on diamond paintings. Um, but it showed up four days after they shipped. So I thought it was three or so. I think it was four, three to four days. Um, it was rather quick. So despite having to wait for processing, shipping was very fast. So you ready to get into it? Yes. All right. So we'll... I'm going to try the scissors first because I'm a little worried that the uh, box cutter is going to cut into something. I don't want it to. Now, they do require a signature upon delivery because, as you can see, they wrap it all pretty. It's in, you know, present wrap and it definitely stands out as something beautiful and desirable to steal off your porch. Three days. However, I'm going to have to have words with FedEx because... They decided not to require the signature and just left it on my porch. Luckily, we were watching for the order, so it didn't get left out. But that is not DIY Moonshop's fault. That is FedEx's fault, and I am not happy with them. <laughs> because things do get stolen in my neighborhood. We're in a somewhat medium nice neighborhood, but stuff still gets stolen all the time here. <laughs> Alright, so. Layer 1. <laughs> There you go. Oh god, that's heavy. <laughs> so, round one. <laughs> Very pretty paper, and they do put your name on there. So, whatever, if you have different names you go by, make sure you use the one you want on the packaging, because that's, that's, what's on your account is going to be what's on this package. <laughs> All right, we got a nice ribbon taped here. That was not graceful. Have a ribbon. Thank you. So, I would like to try to save this paper, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> I think we're using the scissors again. I'm too impatient to try to figure this out. Oh, there's tissue paper in there too. So I'm going to cut two layers at the same time. <laughs> All right, it's easier to tear. You want to help tear? Tear. Let the viciousness ride. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this with two people because this would be hard to do by myself. All right. Couple more layers down. Now for the cardboard layer that's heavily taped. I don't think these canvases are gonna be damaged. If they are, I would be surprised. 
Okay. And here's where all the goodies starts going out. So there's more tape. Oh, they got my hopes up. There we go. <laughs> oh. Man, oh man. <laughs> I see so stickers. Things are rubber banded, so. Take all of these off. I see stickers. Can oh, I open don't this? Don't open it yet. Let me get everything off. <laughs> We'll have rubber bands. <laughs> I'm assuming the canvases are in this thing. Okay. Now you can open the stickers. Stickers! <laughs> you cannot leave me alone with stickers. It is a dangerous task. All right. So what do we get? We have a van sticker. Cool. We have... Science. Come on. Focus. There you go. Science. And we have a moon. Neat. All right. We also got a nifty little cover miner because it's my first purchase. So, a little butterfly. Um, we also got. You guys are going to get a sneak peek of what all the canvases are because we got matching cover miners. <laughs> More tape! <laughs> so, first one is White Widow by Anna Dittman. I need the scissors. <laughs> You're not bit ferocious enough. <laughs> no, they just like triple layered my tape. <laughs> cool, you actually grabbed yours. <laughs> Excellent. One of these canvases is Virgil's early holiday slash birthday slash whatever gift. Do you want to focus? Dark Lilith by Margaret Morales. And lastly, oh, there we go. Sea Witch by Anna Dittman. Oh, you can't guess I like Anna Dittman. <laughs> the bubble wrap Oh, it's hearts. got hearts. That's so cute. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, well, we'll have to hang on to that then. <laughs> Here you go. All right. This, I'm assuming, is our toolkit. I don't want to, like, tear... There we go. There's where the sticker is. So, by the way, I've got it too vicious, but there's branding on the sticker. That's the DIY Moonshop logo. Yes, this is our toolkit. We are the hot mess express today. I really didn't need a toolkit, but I appreciate that they totally expected me to need a party to deal with the size canvases I bought. Tons of boats, tons of wax, tons of multi-placers. Multi-placers? You can have all of them. Yay! I need more multi-placers. Tweezers, tons of pens. Shanky tweezers. No, these are slightly rounded. Oh. They look shanky from my angle. All right, I'm going to try to get these all back in here. Okay. You know, I'll work on get the rest of that in a minute. <laughs> so let's put these off to the side. Let's get into this thing. <laughs> okay, now I need the scissors. <laughs> I'm not vicious enough. Now that I know that it's like heart bubble wrap, I don't want to tear it. <laughs> that made a squeaky sound. Okay. There we go. Half my video is going to be me struggling with packaging. <laughs> Glad it's you and not me. I was hoping I could just pull it out from here, but I think I need to get it all out. It stuck on my thumb. Thank you. So I did use a affiliate code and that got me an artist tube because I got three canvases. So I'm assuming from the weight of this, the canvases are inside the artist tube. Oh, that makes a weird noise. Oh God. Tightly packed <laughs> in this artist tube. Okay. So. It does become very compact when you're not using it. 
That's pretty cool. I don't want to get nervous, dude. So, you want to go first? If sure. Figure out which one <laughs> is yours in this. Let's see. Um, do it this way. You're going to have to grab it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I is going to roll it back. I can roll these back, yeah? Yeah. DIY Moon Shop sells poured glue canvases. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, the way you can tell it's poured glue is the clear cover. So if you can see the picture, then it is poured glue. Um, well, see the picture with the cover on. Poured glue you can roll backwards to try to get the curl out of the canvas. If you have an opaque cover, so the cover is uh, white or can't see through it, it is going to be double-sided adhesive. You do not want to roll that backwards. All right, see how much of this we can get in frame. A fair chunk of it, actually. So, as Virgil said, this one is Dark Lilith by Margaret Morales. Um, these are your drills. <laughs> oh, no. You don't have to open it. <laughs> but, you know, show off the legend and stuff. So, fairly big legend. I'm expecting there would be a lot of 310 and <laughs> 44 colors. I know what I was getting myself into. This is going to be <laughs> a long ride for me. And it's in rounds. You also have your specialty drills over there if you want to oh, open this. We did yeah. pay the extra to get the uh, special enhancements for all these canvases. Those are yours. Cool actually get to figure out what my special enhancements are. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have a video for this one. They usually put out videos on their YouTube so, to show what their special enhancements are for each canvas. Prism, so they recommend you sprinkle in the bodysuit and her wings. Which, here. So it's kind of like a black AB. So somewhere I'm assuming in here. And then up in the wings in the corner. Um... Silver. That's pretty. The handle of her sword. Okay. Make it shiny. And electric. electric. And the yellow diamonds on her crown. Come on. Yellow diamonds on her crown. I see the crown. I don't see the yellow diamonds. Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty. Pretty rainbowy. I'm assuming right there. Yeah. I just Oh, the yellow's in between. I see them now. It's a dark yellow, so that's why I didn't catch it. Okay. So it does look like the um, drill area has very clear symbols, very easy to read. And it does have... Uh, it has my name in it instead of Virgil's, but uh, it's on a sticker that can be pulled off and it has the title of the canvas. And then, oh, let's see if we can scooch this. There is the DIY Moonshop branding at the bottom of the canvas. You do not have legends on the canvas. You only have the walking legend in the, uh, in the drill pack. So, um, okay. make sure that somebody doesn't walk away with your legend. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can show this off. Focus. Oh, and this canvas is also a 60 by 79. So they have that and a Y. Okay, so the yin symbol. Yeah. And a Y. So yeah, you have to be careful with that. And they're similar colors too. But we'll see. How does it look on the canvas? There's a bunch of Y's. Where, oh, where are the yens? There's a yen. Okay, so it's actually quite a bit darker on the canvas. Okay. So they're actually easy to tell apart. I see an 8 and an S. Usually 8 and S isn't too bad. It's 8 and B you gotta worry about. What color is 8? <laughs> know what I'm looking for here. Oh, one of the reds. Okay. So is the S. 
So I am blind. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not seeing anything that would be too problematic. Yeah, I'm not even seeing them on here. There's so much to look at. This does look like a good mix of confetti and color blocking. It's so pretty. You got it? Give me. I got it. <laughs> okay. I am tiny. I am not long. All right, so next, I should roll this one backwards. In the meantime, you can just continue staring. <laughs> Look at the pretty. Oh, you should check and see if it measures true to size and if it is tacky. Hold so on. I can do the tacky real quick. Up. Oh. I, I, I'd say it's tacky. Yeah, it's definitely tacky there. <laughs> oh. Give me my hand back. All right, so it'd be 60 this way. Did have it on centimeters first. It just looked wrong. <laughs> 60. Okay, you can't quite see, but he was at the bottom there. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. believe in you. <laughs> oh no, again. I am small and not long. <laughs> you know, someone's going to make a dirty joke about that, right? <laughs> now that you said it, yes. Maybe because I already mentally did. <laughs> Just a hair uh, under 79. So, it does measure true to size. <laughs> All right. Next one is a canvas I got for my significant other, Scott. This one's a little long. And I curled under. Can you? There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, so about a little more than half of this is in frames. <laughs> it's fine. It's yeah, fine. Maybe two thirds. All the important parts in frame. So this one is White Widow um, by Anna Dittman. And oh my god, comic book characters. <laughs> gonna have two packs <laughs> cool so lots of drills lots of interesting colors it was when I was 45 colors it's a pretty shiny weight all right where's my envelope I have it you already gave it to me so Okay, I knew they weren't in there. I may have to contact them because I'm supposed to have... Oh no, pearls were for Sea Witch. Never mind. I'm getting all mixed up. Just ignore me. Ignore the last 30 seconds. <laughs> so we've got Prism, which you saw in the other one. Um, they say it suggests putting it on the darkest areas, which is kind of all over the place. So we'll set that right there. Oh, that one's pretty. Strawberry fire, use on eyes, and red spot on spider. So, there and there. And electric, sprinkle on lightest areas. So, these are meant to be kind of all over the place. <laughs> so pretty. So excited to do this one. Yours are meant to be all over, mine was just meant <laughs> to be in a group. So this one's also round. Everything I got in is round because um, it is an upcharge to get squares and it was going to be like 30 extra dollars a canvas because I got the largest sizes that they had. Because I figured if I'm going to splurge on DIY Moonshop, I might as well splurge on DIY Moonshop. <laughs> All right, so pack these away again. I'm not going to measure this one because, you know, we already established they're true to size. And... Uh, we test the tackiness level if Virgil wants to get trapped. <laughs> All right, so we got one more canvas. That is a very tiny magnet. I should show him. So, 
tiny magnet to go with the um, cover, cover minders. Minder. Sorry, words are just eluding me today. <laughs> so pretty. I'm seriously excited to do this one. It's like going to take everything I have not to drop what I'm working on to start on White Widow. But I have an event coming up, so I can't do that. <laughs> so, slight plug there. I have an event coming up June 1st. Hashtag punked out diamonds. There is a video in my feed. There's actually a whole playlist. Um, so if you want more information, definitely check it out. This one is Sea Witch by Anna Dittman. Has, again, the name of it in the corner here. Lots of blues. She looks so intense, but like kind and evil at the same time. I kind of really like it. <laughs> we got lots of blues and greens and greenish blues and purples. A few pinks and the grays. Another 45 color canvas. This one is a 60 by 91. Did I say how big the other one was? 60 by 93. So I got the long ones. <laughs> And, uh, specialty drills. God, that was loud. <laughs> drills just thunked right under the table. All right, so we've got violet. So sprinkle on purple areas, which mostly seem to be around the tentacle. Her the eyes. ends and the tentacles and her eyes, yeah. We've got more prism. Sprinkle on darkest areas. So, some in here. And then we got... Oh, come on. Do the thing. Ooh, there we go. Snow. Sprinkle on lightest areas. So I'm going to message them. Message them before because the video they have also has pearl gems that are a little bit bigger and they go on the bubbles. And they did say that it was in the pack and showed me in the video, but that is the snow that it's supposed to come with. And there's no pearl gems in here. So... I will message them and see what's going on with that. Maybe they stopped doing the pearl gems. But uh, either way, I still got the three like the other canvases. So I'm not exactly disappointed for what I spent for my money. She's so pretty. <laughs> I was so happy we did this. Yes. So I will say it was a little pricey with, uh, with three large canvases, all with specialty drills and shipping. I did use um, their uh, Blue Moon card. So I was, basically it's like buying a gift card, but at a discounted price. So I bought a, like, I think it was a $200 gift card for $180. Basically took $20 off my tab. Even considering that, I think I spent 315 dollars 330 somewhere in that vicinity on three canvases so it was a splurge but as you can see we got cover minders specialty drills large good quality canvases and an artist tube so it we we got our money's worth here <laughs> so i think do you have anything more to add no Okay, so I think that about wraps up this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, all the information for this will be in the description box. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me figure out what kind of content you guys like. Um, if you want to leave any feedback about that, please just do so with kindness and respect in the comment section, and I will get back to you. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell because I don't post on any sort of schedule. Um, I am an agent of chaos fueled by the exhaustion of childbearing, medical issues, and um, attention problems. <laughs> so hit the bell and get notified because sometimes I dump videos and sometimes I ghost for a week or two. Otherwise, thank you for joining us and looking at the pretties. <laughs> Look at all the pretties. All the pretties. And uh, we will see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.